All right, YouTube fam, what is going on? Welcome to another one of my Dropping Bombs videos. Uh, today we're jumping back into Modern. I know I've been having a lot of fun with Pioneer and uh, expect that to continue for next week, especially with the looming presence of bands that we have. Wizards announced, if nobody uh, saw this, that there's going to be a ban on Tuesday coming up. Let me check the exact date. i um, recording this on Friday the 21st. Friday or Tuesday the 25th of January. They're supposed to be banned. There's a lot of speculation that it's focused towards Legacy for like Ragavan. Uh, could easily see it modern, getting rid of Lurus, even though it kills my precious Death Shadow. I mean, maybe we'll find a way to make it work still, but honestly, I think I'd be okay with that. So I wanted to play a deck that I'm pretty sure is gonna be safe from the bans. I don't, I don't think there'll be anything that'll be touched from this, so if Luris, Bobble, Ragavan, those kind of cards get banned, here's a deck you can jump to right away. Uh, and this is Ross Merriam's uh, Indomitable Creativity List. Um, oh yeah, sorry, before I get into the actual deck, another thing about if the bans happen, next week we're going to be really focusing on Pioneer to get ready for um, the Mana Traders series event that's going on next weekend. As well as, we know the bands aren't happening in Pioneer. They're not paying attention to that format. So, we're for sure going to be doing that a lot while we wait to see what's banned. Uh, and then we'll react to the bands accordingly and try to find you some good decks. So, let's get into the decks. This is an indomitable creativity deck. Excuse me. The whole goal is to draw this and target either one or two of your artifacts and or creatures. So, four or five mana. So, you can combo as turn as turn earliest turn four uh if one of the creatures would be good enough um destroy two things and then get two creatures we only play two creatures so we would get sarah's emissary you name whatever type you are afraid of most of the time it's going to be instant um to be able to kill the creature um uh, but but it, it'll vary with match to match sometimes it's creature so it doesn't get solituded uh lots of different things and then we have ember cool um, just a closer here. Take an extra turn if you somehow cast it. Uh, attack a bunch of Annihilator triggers. And win the game that way. So we also have a bunch of fetch lands to enable Dwarven Mine. Which then gives us a 1-1 Dwarf. Which gives us food for Indomitable Creativity. We have Hard Evidence which also facilitates two tokens. One mana. Kind of the Thraven Inspector. Thraven Inspector for blue, you get a crab, you get a clue, so you can draw a card if you don't have a play on turn two. One spell pierce here, just a miser uh, counter spell to push through your stuff. Two lightning bolts as a way to interact, as well as four prismatic endings. You know, it is just a case of six one mana removal spells. This isn't a very good delirium deck. We're not putting a lot of cards into our graveyard. So lightning bolt is actually better, even though I've been pretty low on lightning bolt uh, throughout. I think it's quite good in this deck. For Ren and Six, this this card is awesome. Your mana base is just completely solved if you if you can stick a Ren on turn two. We got a couple forces to interact. Four to fairies, just realizing how insane this card is. You know, it shuts down all the Cascade decks. It also sets us up nicely to be able to plus one and indomitable creativity on our opponent's end step if they do have something like Solitude, so you can flash in emissary and emrakul and just have no problem with whatever they might have to interact because well they can interact because the fairy is a messed up magic card then we got some prismari commands this is another thing that it's a weak card compared to modern so normally i don't like playing weak cards just because they facilitate a combo so i usually like playing decks like death shadow that just every card's good and you they happen to synergize with each other anyways but Trying something new, and this card is really good. If you draw Emrakul, you can discard it. It ramps you uh, on turn three. It can still kill a creature. And it still has the mode of deal to destroy target artifact, which if anybody remembers any other command that sees play right now, um, it'll be doing some good work. Culligan's Command. This can still just be Culligan's Command up against Hammer, and it's absolutely incredible. So, you know, it, it's a very versatile card. For Fire and Ice, another turn two play. It should be right here, even though it's in the four drop slots. Uh, way to tap your opponent's lands before you combo off. Deal two damage to some creatures. That gives me hope that our hammer matchup is pretty good. Um, very versatile card. We got a couple four mana Planeswalkers. 
Nahiri can combo with Emrakul, so we have one of those. And Jace can still just completely take over the game. This Planeswalker is amazing, even though it didn't have the impact that a lot of people thought it would. Then we'll move to the sideboard. We got three Veils. This is mainly for Death Shadow, other Counterspell matchups, Hand Disruption matchups. Whenever you're able to play Veil in a combo deck, it is the best Veil will ever be. So Veil is going to be awesome for us. I'm looking forward to that. Blossoming Calm, a card I've actually never cast, but it's definitely for burn. Seems like we would have a, a decently bad burn matchup. Uh, and this seems like a great card for it. So love that. Rest in peace. Um, be able to take out the graveyard. That's pretty obvious. Fluster Storm for your counterspell matchups. Shark Typhoon, same kind of vein. Alpine Moon for Urza Saga. More vetoes for counterspell matchups. And then Wear Tear is going to be great against Hammer. Um, any artifacts or enchantments, kind of not really reinventing the wheel there. But uh, yeah, a really cool deck. Props to Ross Merriam for massaging the numbers, as he likes to say, um, to, to create a really cool deck. And honestly, if Grixis Death Shadow gets the ban, and even if it doesn't, this is a deck I'm considering for Philly. So we're going to test it out, see how we like it, and see if it has some legs. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So I'd like to play first. No companion. It just gives you your hand. How crazy is that? I haven't, I haven't played with something like that in a long time. All right, this is bad. Sarah's Emissary is the one card you really don't want to draw. Um, it's the one card you can't shuffle away very easily. Our mana base is pretty awkward. Uh, everything about this hand is pretty bad. If this was anything else, I think I'd still probably keep because we can still go hard evidence and all that jazz. But yeah, I think this is a mulligan. Okay. Um, I think I'm cool keeping this one. Let's keep, and I kind of want to just get rid of Dwarven Mine. We like those to just be in our deck, and that way we can go hard evidence into sacrifice it into Teferi, hopefully. So now to fetch our lands. We're gonna have to refresh ourselves on the correct lands to get when we want them untapped. I'm assuming it's just Steam Vents and then Sacred Foundry. There's also Stomping Ground if we need that, but yeah, it's probably just Steam Vents, Sacred Foundry, and Hollowed Fountain. Hollowed Found doesn't cast Ren, so I don't think we should cast, or we should start with that. So, in other words, Steam Vents is kind of our only choice. So remember, you got to keep all mountains uh, to make sure your Dwarven Mine triggers. All right, here's a crab. All right, then we'll say go. This deck does take a lot of damage from our lands. Turn one, Shadow Sphere. All right, all right. Land? Okay, excellent. I think we just play this and we'll say go. Oh, this deck's sweet. I'm excited. We, we won't attack with the crab. Not this time. We'll establish dominance later, YouTube family. Thalia. Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> okay, that's sweet. Now we can at least kill it. We cannot cast one of our three drops, and Indomitable Creativity can't be cast either, so we're definitely going to fire this. Uh, we'll just see. Maybe we can have them waste mana and equip, and then we can get uh, a little extra value. I think I want to... So this is definitely a, a Death and Taxes style of deck. Yeah, so in response... Do we want to get blue-red again? We do have two blue-red duels. No mountains. Definitely don't want to get planes. Could get stomping ground if we top deck Ren. Hmm. Let's just get steam vents. That way I might be able to go to fairy into hard evidence. We'll take a little extra damage from our lands. Cast fire, one, one. Try to kill that. They can't cast any spells because of Thalia right now. Okay. 
Okay, so we could creativity here. They could have path, so I don't love that play. So I think we're just gonna go to fairy hard evidence and then set it up for next turn and get both creatures. All right, here's a Teferi. We're gonna bounce so we can maybe draw that land. Okay, here's a hard evidence. And then we'll say go. Looking pretty good for us. Stoneforge Mystic. And I think we'll name Instant with our card. Yeah, actually we can do the, oh yeah, we can do this during their turn. So we really want to top deck a land. Cause then we can just do it at end step. All right, they got a lot of Hawks. They could have Solitudes though. So maybe we're supposed to name creature. Didn't hit. It's frustrating. Um, so we could just to be safe, Prismari command this, destroy, make a treasure, cast hard evidence, and just, you know, be good with that. Or we could say go, what does this become again? Okay. Hmm. I don't know what punishes us for that line, so I think I will just be patient one more time. I can actually cast everything at instant speed here. So let's do... Oh, wait a minute. Not if I want to kill Stoneforge. But do I care? I think I kind of care. Not a lot, but here we are. Deals two damage. All right, two damage. I'll take a treasure. And then we will say go. Yeah, I was like, I guess there is a play where they do that. I could prismatic ending the squadron hawk, or I could just not care and get my two creatures. I do want to stop them from killing my Teferi, and I can just stop it. So maybe let's do it. We might be playing a little too defensive and not uh, just trying to combo, but whatever. We're fooling around. We're, we're checking out our deck. Seeing what we can do. All right, no land. No land for us. But... All right, we'll just say go. Maybe we just sack a clue and play hard evidence. Or maybe we just creativity for one. If we hit Emmer Cool, the game ends. So we have a 50 50 shot of ending the game on the spot. <clears throat> huh. That does make me want a creativity. Hmm. That is annoying. All right, I'm gonna sack a clue. Don't want a creativity if you're one and then just get solituded. If I hit Emrakul, you know, I really wanna try to set this up a little better. I think I can just pick them apart slowly but surely. Okay, now I wish I did it. And we don't have to do this now. We can we can wait. Now if we don't top deck a land, we might just to ferry bounce Dahlia, go for it, and see what's up.
All right. Let's go like this. <clears throat> Where's the sword? Okay. <clears throat> so I think it's time. Let's bounce this. Creativity for two. Our first combo. Here we go. All right. Let's get a dwarf in mind because why not? All right, and these taxes decks, I wish I knew them a little better of what to name here. I mean, they could have solituded me now. Let's go with All right, let's go with creature. Just because this has pro instance anyways. Now I have pro instance pro creatures here. So now they need path then solitude. Your go. I got an Emmercool. I got a Sarah's Emissary. Can you beat it? If not, you're dead. All right. Death and taxes. Mono white. I was just going to say, I think this is probably a pretty good matchup for us. And I think our opponent has agreed. They have waved, waved the white flag of surrender and said, you know what? I cannot beat that deck. It's too powerful. We need to get out of here and go do something else and try to beat someone else. A good start for our deck. Let's play round two. All right. Up against a Luris deck, so here we go. We're probably playing against one of the big two. Uh, big two being Hammer and Death Shadow until Luris gets taken out of the equation. And this is a great hand. We got answers to a turn one play. We got a Teferi, which is excellent against them. Jace, not the best, but that's okay. We'll keep. We shall keep. Hopefully we get to play a Trium, but we'll live if we can't. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe this is Jund? Jund Shadow? Okay. Our hand is pretty, pretty insulated to Thoughtseize. Two removal spell, two Planeswalkers. <clears throat> Jace, you leave that Jace alone. Jace never hurt anybody. Okay. Probably didn't want that, but we'll play a triumph and we'll say go. Both of my planeswalkers, you say? All right, that's less cool. We'll be doing uh, some draw go for a while, I imagine. All right, our best draw would have been Ren if we have green. <laughs> <laughs> Calling my shots here, but that will be a great draw if we can top deck a fetch land. Uh, and we're okay just playing a tap land. Only able to cast the lightning bolt at instant speed, so no reason to take any damage. No land for you. How about a fetch land for core? Bad. All right. Now we really want to fetch land to pressure them. But, of course, them missing land drop, we don't care too much what's going on. A mountain. Shadow Sphere. They had to have had one of those things last turn. That's weird. Hey, Macarena. All right. Now we got the goods. 
So we got to get stomping ground. Red, green, ren. Game. <laughs> People are not feeling our deck right now. Okay. We'll bring in some fails. Are they going to concede? Are they going to concede? No? Okay. I guess we'll have to play. So it looks like they're Jun Sagavan would be my guess, right? So as far as enchantments go, they would have Saga. As far as artifact goes, they'll have a plethora of it. So let's try it. Let's try Wear and Tear. I'm not sure about it. Alpine Moon for Saga as well. And that's it. Spell Pierce we don't want. Force of Negation against any Lurus deck you usually don't want. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. Jace isn't bad. Crabs aren't bad. Hmm. A little unsure of what else to take out. Prismari Command seem decent. Teferis are awesome. Wrens are awesome. Bolts seem good. Hard Evidence, Fire and Ice, the four mana Planeswalkers. It seems like some combination of those. And on the draw, I'm inclined to take out some Fire and Ices. Maybe on play or draw. And maybe a... Uh, Hard Evidence is good against Ragavan. So maybe it's supposed to be one of these four mana Planeswalkers. Maybe we're over sideboarding here, you know? All right, let's only bring in one wear or tear. Let, let's try. I, I'm a little unsure of that last sideboard slot. I could see it being a Prismari command. Um, I, I could see it being a lot of different things. We're still learning this deck a bit too. You know, I've seen Ross play it a lot. Uh, I've played a league, I think, with it. Um, so, so we'll definitely have a learning curve here. But uh, we'll master this deck in no time. Have no fear. Okay. Here's our Alpine Moon. They're not going to start with turn one Saga, so we're not going to know if it's super good. Let's see. Okay, with them not starting on anything, I think I just want to go and get a Rogarin Trium. All right, let's do that. Games feel better when you start with a Trium. Yes, no thoughtsies, please. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. They're dead. Sorry, I meant Ketria Trium. I always get those two mixed up. Okay. Bang, bang. Alpine Moon, Urza Saga, GG. Stone Rain. Okay, then we'll just do a tap land and say go. The dashed Ragavan, eh? Pretty good. I would have liked that Ren and Six. Well, we only have one answer to a Dash Ragavan. I wouldn't be too shocked if they took that, but nope. Um, Yeah, let's just play a tap Dwarven Mine and say go. Now next turn we can combo if they don't do anything. Ren. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll ice down the land and go for it. Ice. Okay. 
Okay. YOLO. So, we hope we hit Emrakul. Yay! Emrakul! 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 Can you beat it? They don't have Liliana's. Yay! <laughs> this deck looks frustrating for our opponents. So, hey, easy sweep so far. Easy sweep. Definitely not mulliganing this. No companion. Looks like our opponent might have mulliganed. Yep. Mulligan to six magical cards. Will they go lower? Could be Tron, I guess. Okay, it's the Affinity deck. Affinity. Okay, let's start with Wooded Foothills, Sago. We can bolt something. We could force if we have to. I don't think there's anything I would force. I think we'll get the Teamer Triome. Start with that one. And yeah, let's just let's just play Ren. Let's get green red, so let's get red white. Could be blue red as well. Let's do red white. Green, red, red. This card is also a very good card with Prismari Command. You just have so many extra cards that get turned on. Okay, there's the Saga. We're not gonna force anything, so. <clears throat> Thought monitor, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Our whole goal next turn should be to keep Thought Monitor off the battlefield. And I think we can do it. So, if that Ingenious Smith was a 1-1, one, one, we really had some good plays. But since it's not, we don't have the best. Could bounce Ingenious Smith. I don't love that. I could bounce Urza's Saga. Then they have three artifacts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they couldn't play Thought Monitor then. We'll lose to Fairy, which I think is fine. I don't think they have too much interaction, so I'm going to load this deck up. I know it recently won a challenge, and just kind of take a peek. It's good to familiarize yourself with decks that are doing well. Um... Challenge, Affinity. So yeah, this Affinity deck just won. They have Rebukes. Ooh, can they rebuke me? One, two, nope. They have no way to deal with a resolved Sarah's Emissary? Really? Just I name Creature and they're dead? Oh, I guess they have Aether Spellbomb. So I name Artifact. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, and then they have some dispatch in the board, but wow, yeah, not much that they can actually do. So here's the question. What do we do?
Hmm. I think delaying their Urza Saga seems great right now. So we're going to do that. Let's go like this. And I guess blue, red. It's kind of awkward we don't have just a mountain. Blue, white, Teferi. We're going to bounce Urza Saga. Oh, I guess we could have returned a Razor Thicket as well. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going to return this, but then discard it. Can't use force. Yeah, if they do, do leave Metallic Rebuke open, though, <clears throat> that will make our game a lot tougher without this Teferi, so we might regret in that sense here. Okay. Like, if they find a zero-drop artifact, then they have Rebuke open, and then we're kind of sad. Yeah, that's not that big of a deal. See what they attack. Ren or Teferi. Yep, that makes sense. Do, 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 do. Okay, Prismari Command is a pretty good one. <clears throat> so, now we want to... Now it's all Dwarven Mines from here on out. So we can go Dwarven Mine. Yeah, I think we're just going to Lightning Helix and then say go. Helix right away just because we would have to discard. Okay. So we can Bolt with this. Yeah. And then we'll say go. They can probably Thought Monitor us now. Well... There is a world where we want to just deal with Ingenious Smith and blow up Shadow Sphere. Nah. We don't care about a Thought Monitor. It's Divination on a 2-2 two -two Flyer. Yeah, if they tap out, they're dead because we just name artifact and then Aether Spellbomb can't hit anything and that's like their only way to bounce for game one. Sure. Make that construct. So we could... Go deal to destroy target artifact. I kind of like that. Dwarven mine. Here's blue, red. It's two damage. Destroy. It's pretty strong. All right, now they're dead. Might as well attack first. Okay. We're going to go pro artifact. That means the creatures can hit us, but, you know, it just doesn't matter. Boink, boink. Creativity. Artifact. Yeah, now the, the artifact creatures can't still, they can't hurt us either, but they also can't be bounced. So that should be GG, yeah. <laughs> this deck is awesome. <laughs> this deck is awesome. 
Okay, wear tear gonna be good against the affinity deck, believe it or not. Alpine Moon. <clears throat> so now they have to fairies, they're gonna have disputes, maybe spreading seas, that's kind of annoying. And then some dispatch. So they'll have two ways to deal with the creatures now. With emissary. You know, Emrakul is still undealable with a bull. Um so I think spell pierce can go fire and ice. They do play Esper Sentinel, which is annoying. I don't think they play anything during their turn that I care about, so force is not great. Nahiri and Jace are also pretty bad just because the constructs can be made at instant speed. Well, Let's see Nahiri one more time. Exile target enchantment, tapped artifact. No, that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's keep that one. Hard evidence is actually not amazing. Maybe I want some counter spells. I mean, they have a decent amount of counter spells where Veil is probably good. Yeah, that's the better one. So, Prismari Command, very good. I think our deck is really lined up quite well against this deck. Let's get rid of those and just these and try it. I'm in. Three Ren and Sixes, and our Sarah's Emissary is in our hand. This one's an easy mulligan, I think. Anytime you see that Sarah's Emissary, it really is pretty easy to mulligan. That is a huge... I wouldn't say the biggest problem, because you know you're always going to hit Emrakul, so you can turn for a combo, combo pretty easily. All right, we got the Alpine Moon. And Wear Terra is another hate card. I think this is good. We'll just get rid of one of these Krabby Crabs. Yeah, I'm in. With top decking that, I think we just get, well... Yeah, I think we'll just play Dwarven Mines. Sad play. Okay, that's good. What kind of two mana counter spells do they have? Not too many. Yeah, Alpine Moon. We have drawn that one of a lot, and it's been awesome. There's that, and we top deck basically the best possible. Any fetch land would have done that, but still very good. One mana stone rain. I'll take the play. Three, four, four artifacts, five, six. One away from Thought Monitor if they have another zero drop. Excellent. We can't do anything to the lands. Ooh, actually, we can bounce one of them now. They could have counter spells for this, though. Disputes or rebukes. What are we doing otherwise, though? Like, just hard evidence, crack it? I mean, I think I'd rather them counter Teferi than counter Indomitable. So, all right, we're going to go for it. I don't feel great about it, but... So, blue-red or blue-white? We don't even have a blue-white land on this deck. That's probably reasonable. Or Stomping Ground in case we top deck Ren. No, then we can't cast Teferi, so... Blue-red it is. All right, let's try it. Oh, baby. Oh, bounce that tap land. Your go. Oh, yeah. This deck's unbeatable.
I'm going to be pursuing this deck with or without a Luris ban, y'all. I am having a great time. Okay, tick up. That was the question. Do we want to just creativity for one? 50%, we just end the game. Or we wait. We'll see what they do. So this could be a thought monitor. Okay. So yeah, the thing is, we're gonna be able to Teferi tick up I don't know. I think it's just worth it. 50-50% chance the game just ends. I'm going for it. I'm just going to go for it all the time and just see if it's right. You know, see if the game ends and maybe it's just always correct to do so, you know? Like, we're going to find out. And we're cool. The game's over. Okay. When you're this lucky, I guess you just do this. I'm the king of flipping coins. Bang! Easiest 3-0 of my life, y'all. Holy cow. This deck is awesome. I'll be uh, looking into this a lot, especially if Luris gets banned or anything in modern gets banned because I highly doubt it's any of the cards in our deck. So really cool stuff. Let me know what you think of the deck in the comment section and like and subscribe the video. Ring the bell. I don't know. Do all that stuff that all the, all the YouTubers say, okay? I appreciate you all. Um, we'll be recording some more videos. I don't know what's next for sure. Um, but I know I'm taking this weekend a little bit chill, so might not have a ton of content over the weekend, but expect at least one more, hopefully. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.